Well, we uh, we stayed at the TA here in Baldwin, Florida, <laughs> right off of I-10 and 301. Um, so there's the pickup truck. You can see we got one of our slides out because I park on on one side, so we have room to like we have slides on both sides of our camper, and we have a kitchen island in the middle with our sink, so we have to we have to open one side or the other in order to get around to go to the bathroom and the back bedroom for the girls. So I'll park on one of the two sides whenever we shut down like this. It sucks because this is, there's 90 parking spots here is what it says online and 32 of them are reserved. We got here like three something in the afternoon, 345 and everything was full except for 19 uh, reserve spots. So we had to get two reserve spots. It's so dumb, I cannot, I got two things to say about trucking right now. I normally don't complain, or at least I feel like I don't complain. Um, so I just got done eating chicken biscuit. That ain't Chick-fil-A's, but Arby's was all right. Um, the amount of reserve spots that TA and Petra are putting out, it's insane. You go to Denver and it's over three quarters of the parking lot is reserved parking. And it's just, it's a money grab. And it's not because they care about us truck drivers and to make sure that we have a spot to stop whenever we need to. No, they just want more money out of it. That, that's it, they're just, they get enough money out of us for the the crap we have to buy in the store, the the fuel. I mean, if I get, if I get 1,000, 1,500 to 2,000 gallons of fuel a month, I should be able to park for free. I, that's just kind of how I see it. They make so much money on all this stuff. It's ridiculous, but anywho, that one, and then uh, last night, I don't know if it was this Carl Palmer or who it was, but somebody, I guess, was new. They're back in, and they had that freaking backup beeper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh my gosh, that went on. It seemed like for an hour last night. Somebody trying to back into a hole. Can we stop putting those on trucks, especially with guys that are new? Like that's when it takes them 15, 20 minutes to back into a spot that's like lined up straight. Can we can we stop doing that, please? I, I would appreciate that. I'm sure other guys would. It's just, it's so obnoxious. Ugh. Anywho, I'm going to go over here to get my load. We're going to come back and get some fuel. And yeah, so let's get on the road. where to go. I'm going to work on figuring this out. Oh, I bet it's right there in front of me in that building. So I'm going to pull over here to the side and go check in.
they gave me the bills they told me to drop the trailer in the yard and get my empty or my loaded one so i got to slide the tandems and open the doors and yeah put this thing in the dock or in the, in the yard
trailer, slid the tandems back all the way to the front because this load is only about 13,000 pounds. We're going to get on the road. back end that I did just goes to prove that not everybody is perfect all the time. <laughs> it's crazy because I can and I've talked to a lot of other drivers about this. You back into a super tight spot, no problem. Back right in, but Give me a bunch of room, and I look like a newborn calf trying to figure out how to walk. All right guys, we made it to the Sam's Club here in Hendersonville, and they told me to go ahead and put it in one of these doors. But first I need to take the seal off of this thing. Obviously open the doors and uh, try to get unloaded here. They told me that on my appointment, their agent said my appointment was for 1800 local time. So six, six o'clock tonight um, and here it is uh 20 minutes before four so hopefully we can get unloaded pretty quick and then go back to the truck stop and 
spend the night with the wife because tomorrow I have a new load and we'll talk about where that's going to go next in the next video. You guys will see that. Um, we got something that we're thinking about doing as a family here. Uh, it's pretty exciting. We're not sure if that's the route we're going to go or not, but it is very exciting for us. It's still kind of up in the air. Um, I don't know how to how to put it. I guess it's obviously we're still going to be traveling, um, but we're not quite sure if we're going to do it to the extent that we've been talking. So we'll go over that more in the next video. Um, but I'm going to put this trailer in the dock and call this one good. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all the love, all the comments you guys have left me uh follow me on instagram at nomad.trucker and follow us uh with our travels at chaos on the move and yeah stay tuned to the next video we got some exciting stuff we're going to talk about y'all be good stay safe love y'all and i'm going to back this thing into the door here I said I was done, but this is exciting. Less than 30 minutes, he had me out of the door. Um, signed my bills, all that stuff. I've already pulled out of the dock, as you can see. And I'm gonna head home, and it's almost an hour and 45 minutes before my actual appointment, I'm already done, so that's very exciting. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's great. But yeah, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the new angles in the video. Um, what I can do to improve, things like that. Y'all stay safe. Love y'all. Be good.